Yeah guys, we have our lovely Acer Nitro 5 here. I've been using it for almost 9 months now and it performs really well. However, the model that I have only came with 500GB of storage which is kind of low for my needs. We are going to upgrade with 1TB of M.2 PCIe Gen 4 SSD to boost the laptop's performance and storage and while we are at it, we will clean any dust that might have clogged up the laptop's fans and air vents. So let's dive right in. This is the SSD model we got, the two SSDs were sent to us by Fikwad, so huge shout out for them for making this video possible. We have the FN955 which is an M.2 2280 PCIe Gen 4 SSD and it's compatible with the NVMe 1.4 protocol. The maximum read speed is up to 7350 MB per second and the maximum write speed is up to 6500 MB per second. It should significantly improve the file transfer and game loading speeds, allowing for faster and smoother startups of games and applications. Since we have two SSDs, we also upgrade our PS5 in a future video. As you know, the PS5 is also compatible with the 2284 factor SSD that we have here. Everything needed is included, a small screwdriver and the screw necessary for the installation. So let's get to the Nitro 5. You need a simple Phillips head screwdriver for all these screws. Once we undo all the screws, the bottom cover should be easily removed, it's held by a couple of clips. And we can see the motherboard, the expansion slots and the cooling solution as well. I also noticed on the bottom cover there's a cooling pad for the pre-installed SSD that we already have here, so I guess I will also add another cooling pad for the new SSD to ensure proper cooling since SSDs can get a bit hot. Acer conveniently included this metal plate which should make contact with the thermal pads which we we'll place on the new SSD. Before we proceed, let's quickly take a look at all the expansion slots and components on the Nitro 5. First we have the battery, we'll disconnect it later just to be extra safe. Here is an expansion slot for a 2.5 inch SATA SSD, so we definitely got lots of storage expansion options with the Acer Nitro 5. There's the pre-installed 500GB SSD and the M.2 Wi-Fi card as well. Here is one of the cooling fans, now it doesn't look that bad, there's still a bit of fine dust, we'll clean it in just a minute. And there is the second M.2 expansion slot where we plug in the new SSD. Underneath this metal cover we find the two RAM slots. Currently I have two 8GB sticks of 3200MHz DDR4 RAM. And now let's do a quick clean. I'm using a brush with very soft bristles, we have to be extra gentle because those fans can be very fragile. Once we have the fans cleaned, we can disconnect the battery. I'm using this simple plastic prank tool, which makes the whole process much easier. Now let's grab the new SSD. 
there is a notch there which aligns with the notch on the M.2 slot so it's practically impossible to install it incorrectly. We have to remove the screw that was already in place and we can carefully install the new SSD. Gently press it and secure it with this small screw. So now guys, let's take care of the SSD thermal pad that I want to add. I will remove this black tape that's covering the metal plate which I assume serves as a small heatsink for the SSD. Once we remove the tape, we can clean the excess residue with some isopropyl alcohol. Luckily, I had this piece of 1mm thick thermal pad that just happens to be the exact thickness that we need. I will just use the whole strip since I'm not sure where exactly the chips are on the SSD. Make sure to remove the protective plastic which is on the both sides of the thermal pad. Ok, we have that done and we can reconnect the battery and reinstall the bottom cover. So guys, we're pretty much done, let's turn on the laptop. First, I wanted to see if the new SSD shows up in the BIOS. On the Nitro 5, we can access the BIOS by pressing F2 immediately after powering on. And there we have the new SSD listed under HDD1, which is great news. We can exit the BIOS settings by pressing F10. And there's one last thing that needs to be done pretty much after every SSD install. Right now, we can't see the new drive yet. We have to go to the control panel. System and security. Windows tools. Computer management. Storage and click on Disk Management. We get a message that we need to initialize the new disk drive and click OK. Here we see our SSD listed as Disk 1. Right click on it and select New Simple Volume. I will leave everything at default setting and click Next. Here we have to select a letter for our new volume and we're pretty much done we should be able to see the new SSD available. Lastly, I wanted to test the read and write speeds of the new SSD. You can do that by running command prompt as an administrator and run this simple command. The read speed is close to 7000 MB per second which is really really impressive and the write speed is just above 6000 MB. In comparison, the stock SSD that was pre-installed on my Nitro 5 has read and write speeds of 2000 MB per second and 4300 MB per second which is substantially lower. And there we have it guys, we've successfully upgraded the SSD on our Nitro 5. The whole process is just as simple as it gets, you don't need any special tools or knowledge. So again, shout out to Fikwat for providing the SSDs for this video. 
product and stock links will be in the video description. If you found this video useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more similar content. Thank you all for watching and see you guys in the next video.